Today's guest is Kira Lyons. Here's our job talk with a college head coach. Welcome to the Job Talk podcast, where we talk with people who love their jobs. Our guests open up about their challenges, surprises, and secrets to success in their industries. Through conversation, we explore their careers, past work experiences, and the education that got them to where they are now. This is the shortened version from our in-depth conversation. Please visit thejobtalk.com to find the full episode. What is the best advice you can give a person pursuing a career as a head coach? Learn from everyone that you come across, uh, whether you agree with them or not. You know, there's going to be a lot of people that you're surrounded by that see the game differently or have different philosophies, but just because you disagree doesn't mean that you can't learn um, about yourself, about the game, um, about what you like, about what you dislike, and give yourself the opportunity to be around as many different types of leaders as you can in the game and, and outside of the game too. Um, understand that your experience is what's going to teach you the best and trust that your it's great to take advice and it, it's valuable and it's a necessity, but you also need to figure out what your style is and how you interact. Because if you try to adapt a style that isn't natural to you, and, and this is just leaders in general, it, it's forced and it's not something that is received well by the people that you're trying to lead. You need to, you need to walk the walk and you need to have faith in, in what you're doing. And if you're doing it for the right reasons, people will, will buy in um, and figure out what your style is, what comes natural to you, what your strengths are, lean into your strengths, improve your weaknesses. But every coach is different and how you interact with people is different. And you, you can't force something that's not there because it, people pick up on that. You need to be as genuine and um, as true to who you are as you can be and do it with the best intentions. What do you think makes a great coach? Understanding what I mean, I'm, I think this answer will change for me a million times um, as I get more experience. I think right now it's it's connecting with your players and understanding what they need from you to be the most confident version of themselves. Confidence is massive. It, it is the biggest player when it comes to you know, being able to play the game because if you're always second guessing yourself and, and struggling with your confidence, um, your game is gonna struggle. Um, and the best way to be confident is to be prepared. Um, and so every player is different and they react and, and interact with different styles of coaching differently. And so understanding what they need from me to bring that out in them. Um, not always gonna be their friend uh, and they're not always gonna like me, but if they understand that what I'm trying to do is for their best interest to make them the best player, the most confident player, and, and the best teammate, and the best person, um, and they really trust that that's what I'm trying to do, then they'll still listen even if they don't like me at that time. I think you answered my question about what you love about coaching, but can you summarize it? I love what I'm, what I'm able to do for the confidence of, of the girls that I coach. Having that relationship where we can have fun because I love to joke around. I love to tease them and bug them. And you know, I, I, I love our practices to be lighthearted, but also understanding that there's a time and place for, you know, goofing around and having fun, but we're also here to work. I'm also here to teach you what my coaches taught me. And, and it's not just, it's, it's the intangible things and it's controlling what you can control and understanding that if you do control the things you can, that you will find success in whatever it is that you do and of course I want to teach them the game and the skills and I love to win and I, I need that outlet of competition because that's just you know who I am to my core but I also understand that it's not just the game it's it's creating strong confident women that when they leave my program will be successful and confident and and make positive changes for everyone around us and I think that's what makes me so passionate about it is is you know we women need to be a part of that change because they were just not involved enough and there's something that we offer that you know nobody else does and there needs to be more of a, a balance and i want to be a part of making that change 
Thank you for tuning in to the Job Talk podcast. For more information, please visit us at thejobtalk.com.